What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima High Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, the iOS 7 Untethered Jailbreak was released last week on Sunday, and due to that, all the tweaks that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video will be only iOS 7 compatible. And again, if you guys didn't know, there is now an iOS 7 Untethered Jailbreak available, and you could jailbreak any iOS device running iOS 7. Again, right now, untethered. And I will put a video link down below in the description to my iOS 7 untethered jailbreak tutorial. And with that being said, let's begin. So the first tweak I'm going to show you guys today is called Confirm Kill. And what this tweak will allow you to do is set certain apps on your iOS device to warn you before you kill them in the app switcher. So if you want to keep an app active, it's very important that you do that. This tweak will warn you again before you do kill the app so you don't do it by accident. So once you have installed it in Cydia, it is free. You're going to go into settings and you're going to scroll down until you find the confirm kill settings. And go in there and you can check as many apps as you want here. I have the calculator and contacts app checked as you can see. So if I go in these apps, I'm just going to go into the calculator app. I'll open it up and then I'm going to go into the contacts app. Same thing. And I'm also going to open up a couple other applications to show you guys the difference. I'll go into notes and I'll go into reminders and I'll just exit. All right, so now if I go into the app switcher, double click the home button, and if I kill any other app, of course, it's just gonna kill it. However, if I kill one of those two apps, as you can see, it's gonna make sure that I actually wanna kill it. And again, if I wanna cancel, I just press that and it doesn't kill it. If I do, I could just press kill it and that's that. And again, you could choose whatever apps you want for that to happen with. And again, this tweak is free in Cydia. It's called confirm kill, go check it out. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Slide to Kill 7. And what this tweak will allow you to do is kill all of the applications in your app switcher with just one swipe. And once you've installed it, basically you just have to open up the app switcher. And this tweak is free, by the way. And what you do is just swipe down on any app as opposed to sliding up. And what it will do is it will just kill all of the apps in the app switcher just like that. Again, as you can see, they're all gone now. And again, that's just one swipe down on any app in the app switcher. It'll just kill all of the apps just like that. And again, it's called Slide to Kill 7. It's free in Cydia. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Sicarius. This tweak is also free in Cydia. And once you've installed it, you want to go into Settings, and you're going to scroll down until you find the Sicarius setting. Go in there and make sure the tweak is enabled. And what this tweak will allow you to do is just a lot of cool new things with your app switcher. So the first group of settings you're going to find is Quit All. Just make sure that's enabled and what you can do is add an exclusive app that will not kill even if you kill all the apps on your app switcher. I'll show you that in a second. You can also exclude the active recording app. So if you guys are recording a video, you know, a screen video on your device or of course a playing app which is if you're playing music from a specific app on your device and those are automatically checked after you install a tweak. And the exclusions applies to the exclude active app. So if you go in there, you could actually toggle on which apps you don't want to be killed, even if you use the kill all command. And as you can see, I have Cydia and the App Store on right now. And basically what that is, is when you do the kill all command, which this tweak will allow, and the kill all command is if you swipe up on the springboard card, so the home screen card, if you swipe up on that, it, it will normally just kill every single app in your app switcher. However, the exclusions, again, are Cydia and the App Store for me. So as you can see, I have the App Store open over here. And if I just swipe up on the home screen card to kill all the apps, as you can see, it's going to keep the App Store open for me. And again, that's because I have that set as my exclusion. And again, you can configure that in the Settings app. Just go to Exclusions and toggle on any app you want to be excluded from the Kill All option. And that's not it. If you go back... There is another group of settings called Restart Springboard, and this group is pretty straightforward. If you have it enabled, what it will allow you to do is when you swipe up on the home screen card, if all the apps are killed. Now, as I mentioned before, swiping up on the home screen card is the command to kill all the apps, but if all apps are already killed like they are right now, and I swipe up on the home screen card again, this will ask you to restart your springboard. And if you select yes, it'll do that. I'm just going to select cancel right now. And the other option inside of this group is the ask before restart and if you disable that it's not going to ask before it restarts your springboard so if I just do it again I'll just kill settings and here we are no apps running if I swipe up on the springboard card it's just going to respring automatically again it's not going to ask and that's it for the restart springboard section and the last group of settings is called 3D card view and basically what this will allow you to do if you do have it enabled is when you're in your app switcher and you start to slide up on an app to kill it as you can see it switches to this cool 3D view 
And if you toggle on always, just as it sounds, it's going to always have that view, as you can see, no matter what. It's going to always have that cool 3D view. That's just a cool graphical thing. And that's it for this tweak. Again, it's called Sicarius. Go check it out on Sicarius. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Record My Screen. This tweak is also free on Cydia, and what it will allow you to do is record your screen on your iOS device, so screen recorder. And once you have installed it, you go into settings and you scroll down and you're going to find the record my screen section. Go in there and you want to go to activation methods and just find an activation method that you want to select. I recommend you do triple press of the home button. And to select it, you just click on the option that you want and you will see a check mark. And after that, you can go back, and there are some video settings you can configure here. I would just recommend you leave everything the way it is. And so you can just exit out to the home screen, and then you want to perform that action with Activator. And again, mine was triple click the home button. And as soon as I perform that action, it's going to prompt me to start recording a screen. And again, what this tweak does is it will allow you to record what's going on on your screen individually. So if I just press record, it's going to begin recording my screen and you could do whatever you want on your device. This is good for people who want to shoot game reviews. So if they just want to see the active screen on the device, this is a very good tweak. And once you're done recording, just perform the same activator action again and it's going to say it's successfully saved. Now in order to view it, you will need to have the iFile tweak downloaded from Cydia. And if you guys don't have it, just go into Cydia and search iFile. And basically what iFile does, it allows you to view all the files on your iOS device just like this. And once you have installed it, it's going to take you to the mobile folder and just go into documents and in there you will find your screen recording. And if you guys get that pop-up just select later, you could just play it right here as you can see again this is the recording of my screen on my iDevice. And from here you can do whatever you want with it. You could select the blue arrow and you could actually go to add to camera roll if you want to do that. And again, you can do a lot of things with it if you click edit, select, and then you can actually email if you want to down here. And again, there's a lot of things you can do with this if you want to upload it to YouTube. Again, it's called Record My Screen in Cydia, but in order to actually view the file, you have to download iFile, which is also available in Cydia for free. And the next trick I'm going to show you guys is called Doc Shift No Space. This is also free in Cydia. What it will allow you to do is customize how your dock looks on iOS 7. So once you install it, go into Settings. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to find the dock shift setting. Go in there, make sure the tweak's on, and you're going to go to style. And there's several styles, and personally my favorite is transparent. And as you can see, it just makes the dock completely transparent. There are a lot of other options again, so as you can see here, you could choose the one you want. Blurry, less blurry, and of course there's completely transparent. You can mess around with it, there's a lot of cool settings to make your dock look exactly how you want it. And again, it's called Dock Shift. It's available at Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called NC All Only. And what this tweak does is it will get rid of the missed and today sections of your notification center in iOS 7. And normally in the notification center in iOS 7, you get this today and missed option. And then just your, your normal notification center is the all. And what this tweak does is it just gets rid of the today and missed sections and just makes it all. And that's very good if you don't actually use those tabs. You just want to see, again, any notifications you have. Just download the tweak. Again, it's free in Cydia. It's called NC All Only. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Transparent Dock No Space. It's available for free in Cydia. And what this tweak does is it completely makes your dock transparent, as you can see right there. Now, this is very similar to Dock Shift, the tweak that I just showed you guys a few minutes ago. And basically, the difference is this tweak, there's no options to configure. And again, it just makes it transparent. That's all it does, and it works perfectly. Again, it's called Transparent Dock, No Space. Go get it free in Cydia. And the next tweak is called No New Mark, No Space. And what this tweak does is, on iOS 7, it gets rid of the blue dot that's always there on an app that you've never opened before. So if you guys just installed an app, or you just have an app on your device that you've never opened before, there's normally a blue dot next to it. So as you can see, Facebook here, I've never opened it. And normally there would be a blue dot there. And what this tweak does is it just gets rid of that. And again, it's called No New Mark. It's free in Cydia. Go check it out. And the next tweak is called Simp Lock No Space. It is free in Cydia. And what this tweak does is it will just get rid of the slide to unlock text that's normally there on the lock screen. As you can see, it's just blank. And it gives that nice minimalistic look. Again, it just gets rid of the slide to unlock text. That is it. 
This tweak is free in Cydia. Again, it's called Simplock, no space. And the next tweak is Menu Button Emulator. There are spaces between the words in this tweak, and it is free in Cydia. And what it will allow you to do is it just puts a virtual home button on your device that you could drag around wherever you want to, and it just functions normally. So if I'm, I'm in an app and I want to exit, I just tap it, and that's that. Same with multitasking, you just double tap and you're in the multitasking. Same with Siri. Just like that. Again, it just functions as a normal home button on your device. Again, it's called Menu Button Emulator. It's free in Cydia. And the next tweak is called Hidden Settings 7, no spaces. This tweak is free in Cydia. And what it does is it allows you to configure a lot of cool things with the springboard and lock screen that Apple did not allow. And once you install it, you just swipe up for Control Center on your device and you will have a new button, Springboard Settings. Just tap on that. And here are all your options. There's just tons of things you could do with this, a lot of cool things. And one of the things that I thought was pretty cool is if you go into folders, you could toggle on Allow Nested Folders. And again, this is just one thing of tons and tons of things this tweak does. But if you enable it, what it will allow you to do is make folders inside folders. So if I just open up a folder, I could drag one icon on top of another. And as you can see, it actually I could actually have a folder inside a folder and Apple never allowed that. So if you want to have several subcategories with your applications on your device, this is great. As you can see, I can have a folder in a folder. It's really cool. And again, there's just tons and tons of things you can do with this. That's just one of the many things this tweak does. Just scroll through and you could configure everything to your liking. Again, it's called Hidden Setting 7. It's free in Cydia. Go check it out. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Purge. This is free in Cydia. And what it will allow you to do is in the app switcher, it'll just allow you to kill all the apps all at once. And I know there are some other tweaks that I've mentioned in this video that do that, but this one's just a little bit different on how it does it. And this one, you just hold down on any of the cards and select yes, and there you go. All of your apps are killed just like that. Again, it's called Purge. It's free in Cydia. Go check it out. And the next tweak is called Lock Screen Tool. There are spaces in between the words, and it is free in Cydia. And what, what this tweak does is it allows you to hide the camera button on the lock screen and also select your own custom text on the lock screen. Once you've installed it, just go into Settings, and you will eventually find the Lock Screen Tool option. Just go in there, and you could actually enable Show Text at the lock screen. And basically just put in your own custom text right here. I have test at the minute. And I'll just show you on the lock screen, of course. There you go. It does say test. You could configure it to whatever you want. And you could also choose whether you want the camera button to show or not. And by default, it's on hide. So that means it's not going to show. And again, as you can see right here on my lock screen, there is no camera button. Normally, it's there. And you could drag it up. It is not there. And if you want it back, just go in there and disable the hide button. And then it'll show as normal, and you can access it normally by sliding up, just like that. And again, this tweak is called Lock Screen Tool. There are spaces in between the words, and it's free in Cydia. And the next tweak is called Switch Spring. It's free in Cydia, and there is no space in between the words. What this tweak does is, in your multitasking app switcher, if you swipe up on the home screen card, it will allow you to restart your springboard and or quit all of the apps, or just cancel. So if I click Quit Apps, it's going to quit all the apps. And if I select restart it's just going to restart my springboard very simple again it's free it's called switch spring in C. and the next tweak is called swipe to respring and basically what this tweak does is in the multitasking if you swipe up on the home screen card it's just going to respring your device and you can just select restart and it's going to do that now again i know this tweak is repetitive there are a couple other tweaks that i've mentioned in this video that do that but again it does work perfectly and that's it there's no options to configure that is what it does. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.